The Green Bay Botanical Garden is a place to be this holiday season. Angela Kelly is there this morning with more on the annual Garden of Lights event. Hi, Ange. Hey guys, well as it gets lighter out, of course, it's, it's more difficult to see the beautiful lights, uh, but it's pretty incredible how much work goes into this. You can see all these um, iron uh, rebar structures down there just covered in light. So let's take a look at some video that we captured earlier this morning of when they're all aglow. And uh, Tanya Duran is with us from the Green Bay Botanical Garden. Good morning to you, Tanya. Good morning. So, Tanya, how do you guys make sure that this stays fresh every year? So people who like to come every year, they don't see the same old thing. Every year we move the displays around, so there's interest. Um, you'll see something different. Um, they move the displays to different spots and do put different combinations together. We also add new features every year. So this year we have a star on top of our 45-foot tree, which is brand new. It's a 5-foot, 18-point star with color-changing LEDs. And we also revamped our icicle forest this year with mm. 10,000 LEDs. How long does it take to get this whole all these grounds ready for this event? Six weeks. They start in mid-October and it takes six weeks with a group of volunteers to get everything up and going. Mm -hmm. We were here uh, the first day this season that you guys opened, the first night. Uh, a lot of people came out. Uh, it's a pretty festive atmosphere around here. Absolutely. We get um, thousands of people every weekend that come out. Mm -hmm. And Santa's here most of the time. What else can people experience? Yes, you'll see Santa here most nights. You can get your picture taken with him. We have live entertainment, different choirs and musical groups that come out every night, and we have a concession area where you can get hot cocoa and hot cider and warm up. Very cool. Fun way to, to ring in uh, the holidays and the new year. Yes, it's a great holiday tradition. All right, and we have all the information as far as, uh, you know, when you can come see this, how much it costs to get in, all that stuff on fox11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ange. Thanks, it's Ange. Super pretty. We had a great time last year, mm -hmm. except the kids complained the hot chocolate was too hot. Poor things. I know. <laughs> Blow on it then. <laughs>